welcome to Tuesday Tip. Today's tip is on unit transfers on properties with layered subsidy. Many of you have layered HUD and tax credit properties and think that you're following the HUD unit transfer policy, but you're not. Tax credit rules for unit transfers are different. It depends on whether the transfer is within a building or between buildings. Between building transfers for tax credit may be handled differently depending on whether the two buildings are part of a tax credit multiple building project or not. In some cases, tax credit rules require a recertification event instead of a UT. This is often implemented as a move out and a move in on the tax credit side. However, HUD does not want to see a move out and a move in in those situations. HUD rules prevail, the HUD transactions, and the UT must always be implemented as a UT. HUD's point of view, the household is not requalifying, they're just changing units. Also keep in mind that it could happen that the tax credit move in will have income that does not have to be reported to HUD because the change may be less than the $200 per month threshold as required by HUD. Hope this helps you to understand how HUD UTs work. Want you to keep in mind that if it's a HUD UT, it's a UT, not a move out and move in. See you next time for another Tuesday tip.